Finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at magluto. What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Humor PH. And dito na naman ang pabibo ninyong guro na punong-puno ng humor and willing to give humor. Narito ako para tulungan ka. Natulungan ng sarili mong matuto sa pumamagitan ng math pinadali, math pinasaya, at math pinaexciting na mathematics lesson. Ngayon nga pag-uusapan natin ng arithmetic sequence wherein paano kapag pinapahanap sa atin si a sub n or the nth term. But before we go there, please don't forget muna na mag-subscribe sa channel natin and i-share ito sa mga friends niyo para uh, matuto rin sila sa mga lessons dito sa Humor PH. And without further ado, let's get to our discussion. Alright, hi there everyone! Welcome sa lesson natin ngayong araw. So ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa arithmetic sequence. And let's start this by defining kung ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng arithmetic sequence. Ayan. Kapag sinabi pong arithmetic sequence, this is a sequence of numbers such that the difference between the consecutive terms is constant. And mas mag-guess natin ito kapag nagbigay ako sa inyo ng examples. So let's have two examples for arithmetic sequence. Hindi po kasi lahat na nakikita yung sequence, yung numbers na magkakasunod or na may pattern ay arithmetic. So kailangan niyang masatisfy itong sinasabi dito na yung difference between the consecutive terms are constant or is constant. So kapag sinabi yung consecutive terms, ano pong ibig sabihin nun? So let's try to look at this first sequence na meron tayo. Kapag consecutive terms, yan yung 2 and 4, 4 and 6, 6 and 8, yung magkatabi. Dito naman, 25, 20, 20, 15, 10 and 15, or 15 and 10. Consecutive yung tawag doon. And kapag sinabing constant, meron dapat silang pagkakapare-pareho. And ang tinutukoy na constant dito ay yung difference. Now, paano kukunin yung consecutive or yung difference ng consecutive terms? Ganto po yun. So, dito, atong 2 and 4, yung consecutive terms na yan, ang gagawin dyan, to get the difference, yung 4, i-minus natin sa 2. Tapos, kung ano yung magiging result, yan yung hinahanap na difference. So, let's try to do that. 4 minus 2, that's 2. 6 minus 4, that's 2. And 8 minus 6, that is also 2. So, this made now, this sequence na arithmetic. Kasi nga, yung difference nitong mga consecutive terms na to ay constant. Ano ibig sabihin ng constant? Pare-pareho. So, nung minus natin yung mga magkakasunod na numbers, dito sa sequence na meron tayo, naging, or lumabas yung 2 na pare-pareho. So, this is now an arithmetic sequence. So, let's see, or let's try to look at this second sequence na meron. Ito. So, get the difference, 20 minus 25, negative 5 yon. 15 minus 20, negative 5 din. And si 10 minus 15, that is also negative 5. So, therefore, arithmetic sequence ang 25, 20, 15, and 10. Kasi nga, yung uh, difference ng consecutive terms ay negative 15. Again, ulitin ko, hindi lahat ng numbers na may pattern ay arithmetic. Kailangan masatisfy niya muna yung condition dito. That the difference in the consecutive terms is constant. Ganun po yan. Alright. So now, since alam na natin, kilala natin si arithmetic sequence, let's go now to its formula. And ito yung pag-aaral natin ngayong araw. So ang formula ng arithmetic sequence is given by a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times the d. Ayan. Wherein, ang ibig sabihin ng a sub n dito ay the nth term si a sub 1, siya yung first term, si n, siya yung the term position or kung anong uh, position yung term na pinag-uusapan natin, and si d, siya yung common difference kanina. Ayan. So, tandaan, tandaan yung formula. 
Kailangan sa ulo yung formula para makapag-solve ng arithmetic sequence. So, si a sub n ang ibig sabihin ng the nth term. Ito yung pinapahanap madalas. Si a sub 1 is the first term. Si n, term position. Si common difference naman is yung d. So, let's have or let's use now this formula in this problem. Okay, ang problem natin ngayon, sa example natin ay, find the seventh term of an arithmetic sequence given the first three terms na 2, 6, and 10. Alright. So, ang unang gagawin natin, gamitin natin yung formula na alam natin. And that is, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 multiplied by d. And, Hindi natin ito magagamit hanggang hindi natin alam kung ano-ano ang mga values ng a sub n, ng a sub 1, ng n, saka ng d. But first, let's analyze the given problem. Ano kaya ang nawawala dito? Find the seventh term. So, seventh term. Yung seventh term dito, ito yung nth term na tinatawag. Kaya, kung nth term yung seventh term, siya yung a sub n. So, ibig sabihin sa problem na to ang nawawala ay a sub n. So, let's try to find naman nasaan yung a sub 1. So, given dito yung sequence natin, 2, 6, 10, at yung unang tatlong number sa sequence, so, since ang a sub 1 ay yung first term, so, ang a sub 1 natin dito ay yung 2. Right? Next, ang n. Ang n ay position. Position ng alin? Nung pinapahanap. So, kung ang position ng pinapahanap ay pang pito, therefore, ang n natin ay 7. Ganun lang po. And then, yung common difference, yung ginawa natin kanina, 6 minus 2, and 10 minus 6. So, ang 6 minus 2 is 4, 10 minus 6 is 4. So, ang difference natin dyan ay 4. So, let's write it here. Ganito po yun. So, ang given, para hindi ka malilito or hindi ka mawala, isulat mo lahat ng given. A sub 1 nga ulit, A2. Common difference ay minus lang natin yung consecutive terms. So, we'll have 4, 6 minus 2, and 10 minus 6, that is positive 4. So, that's the common difference. And yung n, since ang pinapahanap ay 7 terms, edi 7 yung n. And si a sub n natin ay a sub 7 na ngayon. Yan ang hinahanap natin. So, how to solve for a sub 7? So, let's get to our solution this time. So, solution, isulat mo ulit si formula, kasi dito natin yan, uh, solve. Now, so when you have your formula already, ang sunod mong gagawin ay substitute. Ano ang ipapalit? Lahat ng values na nandun sa given. So, kung ano itong mga values na meron tayo, ipapalit natin dito. So, let's do that. Ayan. So, eto na ngayon yung uh, na-substitute na natin dun sa formula. So, si a sub n ay a sub 7. Si a sub 1 ay 2. So, tama. Si n ay 7. So, tama yan dyan sa given. And yung 1, comma, ayan na yan, constant. And si 4, common difference. So, therefore, tama tayo na pagkakasubstitute dito sa formula. And we'll have now to simplify. Siyempre, kailangan alam mo yung PEMDAS kasi yun ang rule na gagamitin natin para mag-solve ng gantong problem. So, ang unang gagawin dyan, Yung nasa parenthesis muna, that's 7 minus 1. So, magiging 6 yan. So, copy muna yung 2 plus, taging 6, multiplied by 4. And then after that, PEMDAS, multiply muna, 6 times 4. So, that is 24. So, 2 plus 24. And 2 plus 24 is 26. And that is our final answer. Ganon lang po kasimple ang pagsasolve using the arithmetic sequence formula. Let me repeat the process. First, analyze mo muna yung problem. Ah, kailangan makita mo doon kung ano yung pinapahanap at kung andun nga ba yung mga given. And then write the formula. Sauluhin tong formula na to. And para hindi ka malilito, isulat mo lahat ng nasa na makikita mong given doon sa problem. And for the complete solution, ganito po yan. So write the formula, then copy or substitute the values and then right after that, simplify mo na to get the final answer na hinahanap natin. So, that's it. That's how you solve arithmetic sequence. So, to further understand this, let me give you another example. 
Ayan, find the 10th term of an arithmetic sequence given the first 4 terms of 10, 19, 28, and 37. So again, so analyze muna natin. So 10th term ang pinapahanap, ibig sabihin si a sub 10 ang nawawala. Ayan, then... Uh, given naman yung sequence natin, 10, 19, 28, 37, yung unang apat na term. Ano dito ang a sub 1? Yung 10. Common difference, yung minus lang naman natin to, 10, ay 19 minus 10, so 9. 28 minus 19, 9. 37 minus 28, that is also 9. So write muna yung formula. Then, isa-isahin ulit natin yung given. a sub 1 ulit. Eto. 10. Siya yung una sa sequence natin. Next, common difference. So, i-minus mo lang to. Given sequence, yung pangalawa i-minus dun sa una, yung pangatlo i-minus sa pangalawa, yung pangat-apat i-minus sa pangatlo. So, doing that, makukuha natin yung common difference na 9. So, 19 minus 10, so 9. 28 minus 19, 9. 37 minus 28, that is 9. So, common difference natin ay 9. And then, yung n, Kung ano yung position ang pinapahanap, siya yung n. So, 10th term. So, pang 10. And then, sa a sub n ay a sub 10 ngayon. Siya yung hahanapin natin. And after that, do the solution. Ayan. So, for our solution, again, ang una mong gawin, isulat mo yung formula. Ayan. And then, after writing the formula itself, ang gagawin natin is substitute natin lahat ng nasa given. So, sa a sub n, magiging a sub 10. Sa a sub 1, gagawin mong 10. Sa n, gagawin mo ring 10, kasi 10 ang value niya. Si d, gagawin mo siyang 9. So, doing that, ito yung lalabas. Yan, a sub 10 is equal to 10, plus the quantity of 10 minus 1 times 9. So, anong unang isasolve? Of course, yung 10 minus 1, kasi nasa parenthesis pa siya. So, by doing that, ito na yung lalabas. a sub 10 is equal to 10, plus 9 times 9. And since may multiply, Multiply muna bago mag-add. Okay, so, a sub 10 is equal to 10 plus 81. And then, after that, tapos na, 10 plus 81, that is 91. So, a sub 10 is equal to 91. As simple as that. So, just follow the simple steps and makukuha mo na yung tamang sagot. So, kailangan mo lang master yung PEMDAS sa yung integers. Ayan. Now, kung ready ka na si humor, Jill, let's get to it. Pero kung hindi pa, you may go back to our lesson para uh, maging ready ka dun sa magiging question sa ating humor drill. Ayan. Ayan. So for our humor drill, I'll give you one question for this. Ayan. Find the 12th term of an arithmetic sequence whose first term is 38 and the common difference of negative 2. So I'll give you time to answer. I'll pause for a while and then I'll get back to you to give the answers. Your timer starts now. Alright, time's up. So, let me give you now the answer. Let's answer this. Ano kaya ang 12th term na pinapahanap sa atin dito? Now, so maybe, maybe lang, maybe may iba dito na natakot na sa problem na to. Kasi, yung dalawang example na ibinigay ko, hindi naman ganito yung form ng, or hindi naman ganito ang construction of sentence. So, hindi kasi dito nakalagay yung uh, sequence. Yung first three, first three terms, first four terms. So, kaya kinakabahan yung estudyante kapag ganon. Now, uh, kapag ganon, siguro tip lang, huwag kang kabahan kasi kailangan mo lang talaga i-analyze yung problem. Kasi binago man yung wordings, andun pa rin lahat ng uh, kailangan natin to solve the problem. So, kailangan mo talagang alam kung ano yung hinahanap, ano yung pinapahanap, at kung paano yun hahanapin. Ayan. So, let's solve this one. And, let's find out na nabago man, Pareho pa rin. Mas madali nga ito compare doon sa example natin. Okay, formula muna. Ayan, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. And the given, bakit sinabi kong mas madali? 
Kasi, direct ang sinabi dito. Kunwari, si a sub 1. So, kanina hinahanap pa natin si a sub 1. Dito sinabi na, ibinigay na sa atin. Whose first term is 38. So, 38 ang a sub 1. Tapos, common difference, nagsasolve tayo kanina, pero dito ibinigay na agad. Common difference daw ay negative 2. So, ayan. And yung n, again, position yan ng hinahanap natin, and that is 12. So, 12 dapat yung n. And si a sub n natin magiging a sub 12. And yan ang hahanapin natin ngayon. So, kompleto na ang given. Let's have now our solution. So, for the solution, isusulat lang ulit natin yung formula. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. And after writing the formula, of course, ipapalit natin lahat ng nasa given. Lahat ng values na meron sa given. And by doing so, ito yung lalabas. So, si a sub n naging a sub 12. Si a sub 1 naging 38. Tama? Si n naging 12. 12, ayun. Si d naging negative 2. Be careful kasi minsan alam na ng iba kung paano mag-solve pero uh, nalilito sa kung paano ilalagay. So, check nyo mabuti kung tama ng pagkakalagay yung mga values dito sa solution natin. Ayan. And then after that, PEMDAS, eto munang parenthesis, magiging 11 ito. Ayan, 38 plus 11 times negative 2. Then PEMDAS ulit, multiply muna, 11 times negative 2, that's negative 2. So, we have 38 minus 22. And, a sub 12 now is positive 16. And, there it is. Ang sagot sa 12th term natin ay, or a sub 12 is 16. So, I know that you got it correctly. I want to know your scores. Please mention that sa comment section natin. And, I will not leave you dito sa isang humor drill lang. So, I'll give you a challenge question. Ayan. So, for our challenge question, eto yan. What is the first term of an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 5 and its fourth term is 32? Ayan. So, ito iba na namang klase ng question. First term na ang pinapahanap. And... Dun sa mga naging examples natin, laging given sa first term. Paano kung siya na ang inahanap? What if a sub 1 is missing? And if you want to know the answer for that, let us meet again to our next lesson. Pag-uusapan natin paano kapag nawala, kapag ang pinapahanap naman ay si first term. So, see you in our next video. Bye-bye. And if you can answer this, answer that your own. Bye-bye. See you in our next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you did learn from this, please don't forget to subscribe and to click the notification bell. And please share this as well to your friends na ba kailangan ang videos na ganito. And don't also forget that you deserve more, you can learn more, and you can be more. Hashtag HumorPH. Bye-bye. I want to see you in our next video.